Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and welcome to Our Irish Family. Today I am going to be doing another Trying to Conceive update and this one actually contains some information that is Trying to Conceive related. Um, it is February 1st and I'm on cycle day one. Um, I'll include a picture of my previous chart. It was 39 days. In that on cycle day 21, um, I think... I took, um, no, no, on cycle day 28 or 29, um, I started to take um, Provera. I took that for seven days um, and four days later I got my period. So Provera um, brings on your period. It's a tablet that you take twice per day um, and it stimulates your, um, your period to come. So that is what I've done. Um, so today, as I said, it's cycle day one, February the 1st. Um, so I rang my clinic this morning at around 20 past eight and um, after speaking to the nurse there, she said that she needed to see me today because they wouldn't be able to get me in tomorrow. Um, so I had to go up um, this afternoon to get my baseline ultrasound. Um, and while I was there, she said, I may as well collect all my medication um, in the pharmacy that's across the road. It's just easier to do it there because they have it in stock um, and I won't have to, you know, order it in and wait for it and stuff like I would have to do in other pharmacies. This specific pharmacy holds stock because they deal with a lot of the patients from my clinic. So um, got the train up. Um, went to the chemist, put in my prescription and then went across the road to my appointment. Um, so I went in for a baseline ultrasound and she said my lining is nice and thin and um, I don't have any follicle activity at the moment. She said that I do have an awful lot of um, follicles and um, because of my polycystic ovary she said you can really really see it. Um, you know, so polycystic ovaries, what would be a sign of that in an ultrasound is um, the whole way around your ovary on the inside, you'll have like a ring, a string of um, follicles that are just kind of like stuck there, overactive, um, not overactive, <laughs> just stuck there to the other. They call it like a pearl, um, a pearl of follicles or something like this. So it looks like pearls in like a clam. Um, so she said, I have a lot of um, follicles there, but none that's um, active right now, which is what she was looking for. So um, I got my EU blood virals done, which checks for like HIV, hepatitis, all those sorts of things. Um, and I have to go back on the 6th of February. So she said because my lining is really really thin that I can start my injections tonight, cycle day one to start my injections. So um, I that's what I'm going to do. So um, I paid for what I needed to pay for, made my appointment for Wednesday. Um, Robert is going to come with me on Wednesday. If you remember back a couple of videos, I mentioned when he went to get his semen analysis, he also got his EU blood virals done. Um, but it turns out that we didn't, we weren't aware of this. They have a 90 day, um, they have a 90 day life and pretty much it's going to be up on the 12th of February. So chances are we're going to miss out, um, so he's going to come with me and we'll know for sure on Wednesday whether he should get those EU bloods done again. So pay another 150 euro for him or um, we might just be able to get in there before um, before it runs out. Um, so I went and collected so, so much stuff, like so much stuff. Um, so so what I went to collect, so the first thing is my Gonal F. So this is what I'm gonna be taking every single day. Um, so Gonal F, I'm gonna be taking 50 IUs every day starting today. Um, so it says here, administer 50 units for 15 days. I don't think I'll need it for 15 days. But anyways, we'll see how, we'll know how it goes. So I'm gonna start this today. Um, 
so 50 i use of gonal f so that is an injection i'll just open it god i did an awful job opening this up. so it's an injection pen and it looks like this on the inside So that is what I'll be doing for the next few days um, and then also while I was there um, as I said before I have a drug payment scheme card so um, per month the limit is 134 euros that you pay for um, and because I knew I was getting all of my injections and progesterone and all that stuff today and um, I just decided to get a new prescription of my folic acid so it is 5 meg 5 megagrams milligrams um, megagrams of um, folic acid per day I take one of those per day and I also picked up a new box of metformin as well and um, so I take three of these per day so I just picked them up knowing that I was going to um, be over the limit anyway so pick those up um, then also on it was Centroid 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 um, this so there may be a chance that I won't have to use these I got four of these in my prescription and basically what it does is it prevents egg loss and um, so it blocks um, ovulation is basically what it does so if they see that I have too many um, too many follicles too much things happening they'll ask me to administer one of these to slow the slow things down or to in actual fact stop ovulation and um, if they see that i'm kind of over active on the gonal left so i got four of these um then also something else that i got is the overthrow over i can't pronounce half of these things so i apologize um, basically this is called the trigger shot so um, when I, I keep going for scans and when they say yeah you know what your follicle is big enough I want you to go home tonight and take this and basically this is called the trigger shot so once you take this it releases 36 hours later or something like this it releases um, the follicles so it makes you ovulate and um, is what it does and then we go in for the IUI and stuff so got that and then the last thing I want to show you is these bad boys. And these are progesterone vaginal gels, as you can see it says there. So these are taken and um, once you ovulate, um, basically your body starts producing te uh, progesterone. Um, so it helps with implantation of the um, the egg and all that sort of stuff so this is what these do they give these to people just in case they have like a progesterone deficiency I didn't take these the last time and um, so I'm not quite sure if they're going to ask me to do it this time which I'm assuming they are because it was on my script um, so yeah that's everything and I also got a, um, a sharps box as well to keep my little needles in after I'm done so I can dispose of them properly and um, that is it that is everything that I wanted to share with you today so all systems a go um, I'm excited and yeah that's it so thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments below um, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I will talk to you in my next one bye